Hello, welcome to the Daily News Show. Massive transfer news today. I'm going to start with Yassine Brahimi. Uh, the 26-year-old Algerian winger has been heavily linked with a £45 million move to Liverpool Football Club. Uh, if you go on the internet, it's a top article on Team Talk now. Um, done a little bit of research into it. Portuguese newspaper Abola said in the red to proceed with the deal and happy to meet his release clause. Uh, teams like Juventus are also linked, uh, but they're not apparently happy to release uh, to meet his 60 million euro release clause, so 45 million pounds in English. Uh, he scored 10 goals and got 11 assists and 49 appearances this year. And it was a disappointing year for Porto. I mean, I think they finished third. In the Portuguese league, uh, 15 points behind the eventual winners, uh, Benfica Sport, and finished ahead of them as well. Uh, but he was directly involved in 22 of their 67 goals, so, you know, very, very... Very, very close to a third of their goals he was directly involved with. Look, as a player, I mean, I don't know if any of you have seen him, but he is an incredible dribbler. You know, absolutely world-class dribbler when he's on his day. I mean, you know, up there with the likes for me of Eden Hazard, Lionel Messi and um, Dimitri Payet as well. I mean, when you talk about just natural dribbling skills, this guy's got it all. Um, he's, he's so often unplayable as well, but he's effective out wide as a winger, uh, even more so when he does drift inside, which is something that I think Klopp might like in a player. He's got really intelligent sort of combination play, little one-twos on the edge of the area. And he is, to be fair, he's a clinical finisher. Um, his weaknesses, I think he's... He's often a little bit greedy, to be perfectly honest with you. He's, he's probably a little bit overconfident at times. And, you know, there, there have been question marks over his attitude as well. I know he, he played a lot of football when he moved from, from Spain to Porto. He's played a lot of football with Algeria and stuff. And he hasn't had the best season this season by comparison to last season. But in 13-14, pulled up a couple of the stats here. Um, he had 164 successful take-ons. When you compare that with Lionel Messi in the same season, he only had 143. He had the amount, of, same amount of games as well, 14 to 15. So it's incredible, really, what he's managed to do with uh, with regard to successful take-ons. Uh, another one that's been heavily linked with Liverpool over the last 24 hours is the youngster Ante Koric. Apparently, we're plotting an eleven and a half million pound bid for the Croatian teenage sensation. Uh, I've actually genuinely heard the words wonder kid uh, about him and I've heard that since championship manager and football manager look he's a t he is a talented playmaker he is regarded as one of the brightest prospects in the Balkans and, and world football um, the one worry on him, I mean, if it is if it is a worry as such, is he's tiny. He's like five foot eight, and he's ten stone, ten pounds in in, a, in, a, in English. Like you know what I mean? And will he stand up to the physical tests of the Premier League? Who knows? Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on that in the comments section below. I haven't seen enough of him to give you uh, what I think truly on him. Um, Another little piece of news, uh, one on United and Liverpool have both been fine now for illicit chanting in the Europa League. Uh, we've had £30,000 worth of fines for illicit chanting, £12,000 worth of fireworks, and we've still got disciplinary charges ahead of us uh, for fireworks at Dortmund um, and disciplinary charges for both fireworks and crowd disturbances at Sevilla in the final. Sorry, not at Sevilla, against Sevilla in the final. And finally, the other little story that's broken today, and actually a lot earlier on in the month as well, is uh, Liverpool are willing to listen to offers for Jordan Ibe. Uh, Watford and Southampton are reportedly interested. I know a couple of months ago, Klopp had to come out and say there wasn't a rift between the two of them. He's still regarded as a, as a big talent uh, at Liverpool Football Club, but it it looks like now we might be required it might be surplus to requirements and I don't know whether that's to do with the amount of games that we're going to have next season obviously you no know, European football does have a bearing on that um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below of course uh, would you want to see Liverpool paying 45 million for Yassine Brahimi would you want to see us paying 11 for Coric do you think Jordan Ibe should now believe leave Liverpool Football Club and what do you think of the uh, of the charges that UEFA have placed on Liverpool let me know that in the comments section below and I'll see you tomorrow on another Transfer News Daily <laughs>